Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I wanted to cover how to install the Windows subsystem for Linux um, and kind of just cover over the benefits of it um, and yeah just typically what I use it uh, how I use it in my day-to-day -day, uh, work life. So if you're not aware uh, you can run a Linux environment within Windows now. <laughs> Times are changing um, and what that looks like is I will just show you if I click on here this is a Ubuntu uh, system I guess you can call it running within Windows uh, so I think I have screen fetch installed let me just check uh, let me just quickly install it and I will show you something right so I have screen fetch installed now I just want to show you something so as you can see this is running Ubuntu um, and it's running a specific kernel for window uh, for Microsoft that I've made um, and yeah, so what what you can do in this is you can use it as like a full Linux environment, right? And and the preference here is that a lot of people actually prefer, um, for me anyways, when I'm using like DevOps tools uh, like Terraform, Python, running scripts and everything, it just feels to me uh, easier to use Linux for a lot of this stuff uh, and Bash and whatnot, uh, just because Windows just feels a bit uh, clunky uh, when you do that sort of stuff. And the cool thing with that is it supports not just like using terminals and whatnot say if you have like visual studio code let me just show you something here um if you're running python and stuff what you actually get is that if you get a terminal we go new terminal as you can see here this is linux right now um i don't know if this is the same one that i'm running but yep so this here is Linux. So generally Python is installed by default on Linux. Uh, so yeah, you can run Python straight out of the box. Um, installing Terraform is a lot easier and just, yeah, it, it just makes testing and whatnot so much easier having Linux installed. So what I want to do is just cover how you can get this, um, which is really straightforward because Microsoft have documentation for it. So if you come here the link will be in the description you can just follow this and i'm going to walk you through it as well even though i've pretty much got it set up but i'm pretty sure i've, I've only got a version one set up um so i can walk through uh getting version two set up version two is a lot better it's just an updated version a bit smoother things work a lot quicker uh, so what you want to do is open up powershell and let me kind of chuck it into two windows yeah, that'll work right so what we need to do is run this line here uh, so this will enable the subsystem for linux so i've already done this so make sure that you run this here um, oh it looks like we need to be in an, the administrator for powershell so let me uh do that which makes sense cool so i've got all my windows set up uh, we've opened up uh PowerShell as admin and now we can run uh, so make sure you run this one here this will enable the initial subsystem for Linux uh, feature I've already got that enabled so I don't need to worry about doing it again just make sure that you're on the your windows is up to date make sure it matches these are as high otherwise it's not going to work uh, but that's fine so what we need to do now is enable the virtual machine feature uh, so let's double click on this copy that and paste it in here I might already have this in um, installed but we'll find out okay cool so i've enabled that feature and now what we need to do is download the linux kernel update packages so quick and easy we can just click on that and we'll save we'll open that cool so now we're just installing the subsystem for linux update which is easy finish and then that's it so now we've installed that uh, we can keep scrolling down and we'll look for the next step. So set uh, WSL2 as your default version. So let's copy that and we'll paste that in. Cool. And easy. So we keep scrolling down and now we can look for a Linux distribution of our choice. So if we go to the store, what you actually find if you actually go to type in Linux you get all the distributions so let's let me get one that i haven't actually installed before uh let's get uh i don't know kali i guess uh 
So this also means that you don't have to worry about installing uh, like VirtualBox and getting a virtual machine and everything set up. You can just run it straight from here. The performance is a lot better as well. And um, we'll just wait for this to finish loading and I'll get this downloaded. So it's all free. I can just hit get. Now that's downloading uh, and that shouldn't take too long. So I'll be right back once that's finished. Cool, so that's installed. You can see it down here. So what we can actually do now is actually just launch this. And now we have Kali Linux rolling. So I'm assuming this will come with all the tools that Kali normally has. So if you're into uh, penetration testing or you're just uh, learning it, this is the perfect way to do it, right? So now we actually set a username. So let's just do this as TikToks. I'm gonna set a password. Cool, and now again, if I uh, install screen fetch cool so now if i run screen fetch on kali bam so now we can see that we're running kali on the windows subsystem for linux uh and yeah this is it all running nice and easy now that is pretty much it that's how simple it is to get linux on here uh, as you can see there's a lot more stuff here so all the different types of versions for uh, ubuntu uh and open SUSE and everything like that so you pretty much just pick your distro of choice and that's it that's how easy it is so that's pretty much the end of this video i'm going to make another video um, on the windows terminal as well and how you can get that it's just like a nicer way to interact with these subsystems like the linux distros rather than using this one here um, so i'll cover that in another video uh, but for now i will see you then bye